Hi, welcome to this Varasi video on using context diagrams. Um, context diagrams are used for capturing the scope of a project and we've been using this tool uh, very effectively in our Salesforce CRM implementation projects. Uh, in this video, we wanted to go over the uh, basic constructs of a context diagram and in upcoming videos, we'll also share some examples of um, how we have applied it across systems that we have built. So how does one go about uh, drawing up a context diagram? At a high level, you want to think of your system as a black box that uh, several types of users are interacting with. And uh, these users need to uh, read from the system, write to the system, they need to conduct transactions using the system. And uh, it's not just the users, but it could also be um, other systems that are talking to the uh, solution that we are building. Uh, to put some uh, context here, uh, let's think of an example from the world of uh, customer service. So the system we are building is a customer service or a customer support system. Uh, the customers, uh, when you start to look at the actors, uh, the customers may be making uh, inquiries to it, calling in or going to the web and making uh, queries. And support agents uh, may be helping out the customers. So let's capture the customers and the agents. Uh, the salespeople may also need access uh, in order to help customers out. Uh, now, in terms of the other systems that this could be interacting with, uh, let's think about the use case where uh, the customer is making an inquiry on when he can expect the delivery to arrive. So the this system needs to be getting that information from a, a shipping system. So you capture that as well on the context diagram. So uh, as you can see, the context diagram becomes um, a very good first step in scoping a system and for getting on the same page with everyone as to what is being built. Also, uh, it sets up the stage for estimating the project effort. Uh, from this one picture, you have uh, a sense of the, uh, the functionality that the users are looking from, from the system and you capture these as uh, what are called use cases. Uh, so you have uh, a sense of the number of use cases that you need to build. You have a sense of the number of uh, integrations that you need to build out uh, and the number of types of users that you need to gather requirements for and also downstream uh, what uh, kind of uh, training would each of these users uh, require. So uh, you can also get quite detailed with the context diagrams, capture things like uh, scheduled events or uh, say a process that needs to be uh, kicked off at the end of each month, for example. Uh, you can also capture business partners and their systems. Uh, for, for instance, in this example, the shipping system could actually be with a partner like uh, FedEx or a UPS, or it could be the system that belongs to a, a, a distributor or a reseller. Um, the context diagrams are also great uh, project management tools. Uh, you you want to keep this uh, diagram updated throughout the project because it's also showing for you the boundaries of the system, uh, what is within scope and uh, what isn't. So there you have it. I uh, hope that was useful. Uh, see you in uh, upcoming videos.